labor is the bedrock of economic activity and its indicators offer a window into the complex interplay between individuals, businesses, and government policies. Monitoring these indicators allows for a comprehensive assessment of an economy's health and facilitates informed decision-making across various sectors. The Nigeria Labor Force Survey NLFS, is a regular survey carried out by the NBS. In this regard, aimed at monitoring and generating labor market statistics on important indicators such as employment, unemployment, underemployment, and labor force participation rates which serve as important tools for guiding government policies and programs that affect the labor market. Nigerian Labor Force Survey is one of the key macroeconomic uh, survey that produce data for government uh, to make policies relating to our economy in general and in particular to social uh, economic welfare of the citizens. The last labor force report was released in quarter four. 2020. Since then, the National Bureau of Statistics has been working with the World Bank to review the methodology and process for conducting the NLFS. The Nigerian Labor Force Survey has shifted focus towards measuring those labor market indicators that matter most for generating poverty-reducing policies, be they related to social protection, supporting firms in certain sectors of the economy, or building skills and human capital. The production of statistical data with best methodology is not a static affair. Methodology for producing data for countries, especially as national, for national statistical office, is always changing in line with the changing world, in line with the uh, new trend of our data ecosystem across the globe. Significant changes have been made in terms of definitions of key terms such as the working age population, labor force, unemployment, underemployment, and persons in subsistence agriculture. The new standards uh, measure employment uh, among those people that work for at least one hour in a week. Uh, also, the new standard measures underemployment among persons that work between one to 39 hours uh, in a week. Furthermore, changes have been made to the conduct of the survey, such as the adoption of the ILO model questionnaire, a streamlined sample size and enhanced sample selection process, as well as ample time for enumerators to conduct field activities. In every given survey, there are standard procedure that you have to follow or you have to observe. After your planning and preparation, next of the stage you move into is the pretest. You do pretest in order to subject the instruments you are going to use during the main survey for testing how effective they are going to be. Pilot test is necessary because this is a stage whereby you put all the instruments and all other steps that you do take during the main survey, you now redeploy it for the pilot test. You train the trainers at the headquarters level, those are the team who will move to the states to train the enumerators. So with the new methodology, we are adopting a new questionnaire that has been designed in line with the International Labor Organization's standard. And with this new questionnaire, we'll be able to capture more indicators. Some of the new indicators include the employed at work. So in the old methodology we talk about employment generally, but the new methodology will give us opportunity to look at the, those people that are employed at work 
and they uh, temporarily have sent many those people that are employed but they are uh, not at work currently labor force participation then we have the time related under employment now so in the old methodology when we normally have our quarterly service which is one of survey we have been looking at uh, the 3000 household we normally cover 3,300 households in the quarterly in the one of survey. But now we have spread over 35, precisely 35,520 households over the 12 months calendar. And the people are on the field collecting this data every week. But without the continuous data, it has been difficult to actually take care of this. So the 12 month calendar year will help us to study the seasonal employment as well. For the data collection, proper. The interviewers are also using technology, the same technology to do data collection, whereby enumerators are also assigned with a digital map with Google technology also that is tied to each of the enumeration area, which point them to where to collect data. So using this technology assists the enumerators to locate where they're supposed to work which is a very good um, opportunity for MBS to monitor each enumerator and also to, con uh, to, to, to control the quality of data that is being collected by enumerators. The result will be published at a quarterly at the national level and uh, annually at the, the annual report will be disaggregated at the state level, but the quarterly report will be strictly at the national level. The new standard for the Nigeria Labor Force Survey gives government and policymakers a more comprehensive picture of the labor market. This will enable them to make more informed decisions and make targeted policies. In the past, labor market statistics in Nigeria have focused primarily on one number, unemployment. But we know from data in Nigeria and the international stage that unemployment and poverty are often delinked. In low and middle income countries, some form of employment, even if only for a few hours and in low productivity jobs, is essential to make ends meet. A far more important question is the quality of job you do rather than whether you work. And the new Nigeria Labor Force Survey places significant emphasis on finding out about the specific types of jobs, the occupations, and the activities in which Nigerians engaged. It answers the policy questions most relevant for this country. The approach are different, the methodology are different, and the indicators are computed differently. So when the result is out, we cannot put it side by side with the results that we have been having before now. Let me use this opportunity to thank all our development partners and those that, are, that have been working with us from the beginning uh, of this survey. Starting from the World Bank, the International Labor Organization, uh, the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment, recognizing the support uh, given to the National Bureau of Statistics by the government. The fact that the government are making use of our data and trust they have in our data is enough encouragement for us to strive harder to ensure that we continue to produce high quality data for government and the entire user of data in the country. Please visit the NBS's website at www.nigerianstats.gov.ng to learn more. You can also follow us on our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube.